Hey guys, welcome back to SolidWorks and Institute YouTube channel. For starting the video, if you are new and haven't subscribed our channel, press the subscribe button. As you know, that we have covered all the basics and advanced topics of SolidWorks surfacing. In the SolidWorks surfacing course, we have covered the topic of extruded and advanced surfaces, swept surfaces, lofted surface, bonded surface, and all other features of the offset and roll surfaces. So I will provide the link of all these video in the description. You can watch all the videos there. So in this SOLIDWORKS surfacing tutorial, we are going to learn about the net surfaces and we will see how we can convert surface model into solid model. So watch the complete video. Let's start. First of all, I am going to make uh, different surfaces so can, so that I can show you what is the purpose of net surface and why we use net surface command. So first of all I am going to shift this plane. Uh, I am going to make the two offset plane from this front plane. So for that we will simply go to plane from here and select number of instances as two and give it some distance. So that we can get our design shape. So select OK from here. Now we will do sketch on these three planes. First of all, I am going to make a circle here. And on the next plane, I am going to make a oval like this. So as you know that this tutorial is for the educational purposes and I am not going to create anything fully defined or in the perfect shape. So I am just going to make a shape to show you what is the knit surface command. So we are focusing on knit surface command. That's why I am going to make a general shape here. So now we are going to make a slot here like this go to exit sketch so now we will go to surfaces tab and we will use locked surface command to match these two sketches if you want to learn uh, more about the surfacing command or locked surface command you can watch all the videos from the description so this is our first surface and if I will select the third one, so this will be our complete one surface. I am not going to select all the sketches in one tab. I am going to make two different surfaces here. So now again, we will go to lofted surface command. And I will select this edge and this edge. So now you can see this is our second surface. Select OK from here. So as you can see that from this tab, we have two surfaces and here is the joining edge of these two surfaces. So if I want to make this edge fillet, let's use the fillet command. So you can see it is saying laminar edges cannot be filleted. It is because you haven't applied a knit surface command and these two surfaces are acting as different bodies so this one is the first surface and this one is second surface so these are two surfaces so let's go to net surface command so what it says combines two or more adjacent non-intersecting surfaces into a single surface body the surfaces must join at and the edge if the resulting net surfaces encloses a volume you can create a solid body from the property manager so in this it is saying that uh, you cannot knit the surfaces which are intersecting with each other and you can only uh, knit surfaces that are perfectly connected by the edge okay so let's use the knit surface command this is the knit surface tab we will select surfaces to be knit and for this this is the merge entities like this entity will be merged when we use the net surface command and this is the feature we will use after the after it to make this body into solid so select ok from here and now you can see the blue edge is now the black 
now i can use the fillet feature here like this okay so now you can see i can use the fillet command because this is the one surface body so this is how you can use the fillets on the surface different surfaces like this so this was the basic knit surface command now we will see how we can make this model into a complete closed and solid body so the first feature is that if uh, we will use the thicken command from here like this okay so now you can see that these are two surfaces and we have to join this first and for the complete thickness of this body so one feature is that you can simply use thicken command for a solid of this body but it will not be closed okay as you can see it is open from these both ends so if we want the closed solid body let me show what is the procedure so first of all we will go to the uh, plane surface and we will close this body completely like select this edge and you can see surface has been made and our body is closed from here now i will select planar surface from here and select this edge and now our uh, first body is also closed so now you can see this body is closed but this is not a solid this is hollow from inside so now we will use knit surface to convert it into solid select knit surface command select all these surfaces and select create solid okay select merge entities select okay from here and now you can see that here we have the solid bodies folder before that it was surface body folder and now we have solid body now if we will see the uh, cross section of this body you can see it is completely filled so this is how you can convert your uh, surface body into solid body now you can simply use your fillet command like this select ok and like this your model is ready from surface into solid so this was a simple tutorial on solidworks surfacing net surface command and how we can convert our surface model into solid model so thank you for watching keep supporting and keep sharing our channel for more interesting videos